Hello, Taurus. It's Kendrick from Providence. I'm going to be giving you your proofreads. And I actually am going to be using the Magical Dogs Tarot. This deck was created by Mickey and Daniel Mueller. Okay, so it's a, a partnership, a couple. Um, and this deck is very special to me because I really love dogs. And I um, just think that they are the light, right? Most animals are. Um, so let's go ahead and flip over these cards. The crystals that you see here, this is blue kyanite. It is actually a smooth version. This is a bloodstone and this is a rhodochrosite. At the top here, I have amethyst. This is just a regular clear quartz crystal. And this is my blue jay feather, which is very special to me at this time. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and look at these cards. Nine of Sky. So this card is related to the hermit, right? So you could be driving yourself a little mad over what you might be thinking is happening that you don't know. You know what I mean? You kind of try to be figuring some things out here. It's almost like your thoughts are coming down on you, right? The Nine of Sky, Mars in Gemini right? That's where we're getting Nine of Swords energy, right? Mars and Gemini. So Mars is the aggressor. So you are aggravating yourself with your own thoughts. There's a little bit of fear here too. If you want to think vedically, we could be going to a sort of like Scorpio sensibility. If you're thinking of which sign comes before, um, Sorry, why am I saying that? Mars is ruled Mars rules Scorpio. So that's why we're thinking of fear, but we're we're thinking of fear-based thoughts and you're moving very quickly. There's a lot going on activity-wise in your head based on these thoughts. Right? You know, there is a little bit of fear with this card because your your thoughts are turning into your fears. You know? You're getting in your own head. That's what this is about, you know, about something. Earth alpha male, are you getting in your head about a certain Taurus? This is actually you, you know? What is it about you yourself that is making you feel out of place? You know, it may it, it, you feel out of place here, right? Your sense of comfort has kind of been challenged in some kind of way by an external force, right? But you're internalizing it, right? You're internalizing the external force that is affecting you, right? And I feel like you're very sensitive to whatever this is. Uh, but then also at the same time, you're kind of trying to stay grounded by doing some things that, you know, you can do, what you do have, right? You know, it could even have to do with, like, work, you know, just because the nines are related to the hermit, and also um, the nines are related to the moon, and that's why I say that this could be talking about some fears that you might have in terms of work, and in terms of finances, and in terms of things that you have no control over that are happening around you, okay? Right? Because uh, the growth in all of these things are, you know, this is ideal, right? So a situation that once was ideal is not ideal anymore. Clearly, and it could be a work situation. What does this mean for you? What has to change? Because we're looking at we're looking at the Earth Alpha Male, which doesn't want change, and we're looking at the Nine of Sky, which is really desperate for it. You know, that Nine of Sky is desperate for this change to uh, to occur, right? And you could just be looking in the wrong places for where to figure things. I don't know. You know, you might be looking in the wrong places for this light. Let's look at this one. And when I say that, it's like what's going to make things better for you. You know, you might be feeling isolated and alone and alone within your worry. But this says that there are people around you that you can count on. There are people around you that you can look to. There are people around you that actually mean something. Look at this. 
It's like in the center nine of sky. Oh my gosh. On both sides, you've got earth. You've got earth alpha male and you've got earth alpha female here. Okay, we're dealing with Taurus and we're dealing with Capricorn energy. There's people that can help you. You know, you just have to stop bringing so much attention and focus to the worry and see where your resources are. You know, because right now you're only you're only in fear of what you don't know. Right. The information, you know, you know, it's kind of like you're not satisfied with the answers that you've come up with yet. And you're, you're kind of desperate for some peace. Um, as are, you know, these two, these people around you look peaceful, right? Or maybe, these, you know, these could be you and someone else. And this is someone that you all are worrying about, you know? You know, so it could be you and another person worrying about one person here. Or this could be other people worrying about you, worrying about stuff, you know? This is a little bit of a schism here in the center. And these ones on the outside are extremely grounded. So it's like there's some inner turmoil, turmoil happening, but there are people around you that can actually bring you back to where you need to be if you see what is around you, the resource, the availability, because these people are so available. Look at that. These energies, I guess I should say, because they're not people, they're dogs. Yellow is a color. Flowers are important. You've got to bring beauty into your life. You've got to work on bringing the beauty into your life. You know, because the Earth Alpha female is very much related to the Empress and she's very much related to the Three of Pentacles, right? The Earth Alpha male is very much related to um, the Four of Pentacles because he's related, this 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 baby here is related to the Emperor that we saw for Aries. Yeah, so you're dealing with control. Elements of control right now there are, are not happening, Right? Something has, seems out of control, and we're trying to get it. You know, maybe you need to ask for help. You've got to re you got to connect with things that are grounding, right? Things that are inspiring, um, high quality living. High quality living is not just the things. You know, it's the experience. It's not qualitative or it's not quantitative. It's qualitative. Right? And we are not, you know, made to live in misery. We aren't. And you can see that here. You know? What is this cave you're in? You know? Caves are cold. They are dark. And while they might feel secure, they're actually quite damaging. So you've got to come out of that cave. And let people help you come out of that cave. Taurus, if you'd like to get a reading with me, email ProvidenceTarotKendrick at gmail.com. I would love for you to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on IG, please follow and like. Okay? I love you, Taurus. My mother is a Taurus. <laughs>